Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're on to the next stage of the puffer tank build and I've got some plants. So I've just picked all these out of my planting tank in the fish room. So these are all the plants that I'll be listing on the website if I haven't done already by the time this video comes out. I probably won't have. But I've got various things in here. I've got some crypts, got some uh, Amazon swords, things like that. So my plan is now that the water's cleared up in here, I'm going to lightly plant it for now because I'm hoping it's just going to grow in over time. Get some plants in there and I'm doing that before I put the puffer in because I just don't want the puffer taking a knuckle off or something like that. So we'll do that quickly and then we'll get on to the moving of the fish. So, time to get this guy, where is he? This guy out and get him upstairs. With puffers, you don't want to, where is he? Where is he? You don't want to get them into the air, because they puff up when they're in the air, and um, that can cause all kinds of problems trying to get them to deflate again. So we need to keep them underwater. So I don't want to net them out and put them in a bucket. So I'm going to take a bucket, if I can, or a cup or some kind of container that I can guide him into it and try and take him up that way, so we'll see how we get on. Let's have a go. So this guy, the black ghost knife fish, he'll be coming too, but we'll come back for him in a bit. So I need to find some kind of container that I can get through this gap, or through that gap which is a bit bigger. Um, so that one's too big. So that one will do just about. So he's usually quite friendly, so I've no idea how he's going to handle this. But my usual technique is to grab a net and just kind of chauffeur him towards what I want him to go in. So within the net, I just need to coax them in here and I don't want them getting my fingers. That was a lot easier than I was expecting. Only got mildly wet. So I don't want to take too much water, so I'll pour some of that out. Still 
Just need to be careful. So there he is. I'm not going to waste too much time, but I'm going to do a bit of a drip acclimation just to make sure everything's okay. See how much he freaks out, but I don't want him in there any longer than he has to be. And then we'll get him in the big tank. We'll stick with the puffer just now because I've got a live stream starting soon. And then we'll get the black ghost up after that. So it's been dripping into there for about 15 minutes or so. Um, it's just been emptying out the water every few minutes. I think that's plenty. It doesn't look particularly stress it doesn't look particularly anything so I think we're good to go I'm fairly confident in the quality of my water so I'm just going to take this tub and put it in and see how it gets on so let's set the camera up so you can see a little bit better now, there are still some guppies in here from when I was just keeping this tank ticking over I couldn't catch them all unfortunately just because there's too much stuff in there so this will be a true test whether or not he's completely off his live food if he leaves them alone for a while I keep saying he, I've got no idea whether it's a male or a female I should really check that out so I'm not too fussed about rushing him out I'm just going to let him take his time I should probably have the lights off while I do this just to keep the stress as low as possible I'm expecting them, once he does come out, is to just go and find a bit of cover. I've given them plenty of hidey holes. There's a few caves, a few rocks, which have created some uh, shelves and hiding spaces. There's plenty of plants and things like that. Here he comes. And there he goes, into one of the caves, just down here. So I'll let him have a look around, scout out whether or not he's happy with everything. Come back and have a look at him. Same deal with the black ghost knife fish. He got a bigger tub because I've just measured him as well. He's at least 12 inches. And he put up a bit more of a fight getting him out, but unfortunately. I did that really professional thing and took a picture rather than a video when I was trying to get him out. But he's a bit of a big dumb beast. Went thrashing about quite a bit. So I'm expecting him to go and hide straight away. And I probably don't expect to see him for a few days. He generally comes out at night or when the lights are off anyway. But every now and again. We'll see him going for a wee explore. I'm sure he'll choose a place that he thinks is his. He likes to wedge himself in places. So that's it, they're in. This is going to be their new home for quite a while. At least the next six months plus, if not longer. And then they'll probably have to move into the big tank. They're in. Job done. Hopefully. I'm not going to attempt to feed them yet. I'll save that for the live stream, which you might actually be watching now. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, so, that's it, I guess. Um, got any questions? You can ask me in a minute. Bye.